Okay. Hi, Leo. We're going to do your reading. This is um, a general reading, so keep that in mind. This may or may not resonate with you. Um, we're just going to pull some cards and see what you should focus on for the year of 2020, or what you should focus on um, working on. Or maybe what spirit wants to bring to your attention. So, Leo, you have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. So, I'm automatically getting that some of you guys have overcome an obstacle, or you will be overcoming an obstacle. But whatever path you decide to go down, spirit does want you to to stand firm <clears throat> in whatever decision that you make. You also have flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. So maybe traveling for some is significant. If not, you guys are just really wanting to be free. You're not really wanting to be weighed down by any responsibilities or anybody else's responsibilities. I feel like you just want to be free to enjoy yourself this year. You also have sharing of yourself. I am an incredibly generous being. Cultivating prosperity is at the bottom of the deck. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. Yeah, what should Leo focus on building? What should they focus on achieving in 2020? Where should their focus be? We have artists. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. <clears throat> so some of you are artists, or if not, um, Spirit is wanting you to get into some sort of artistic hobby or some sort of creative hobby, something that you would, you know, that you think you would enjoy. Something, just, just do something this year that helps spark your creativity. Um, you also have options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. <clears throat> so this could have to do with career. It doesn't have to. But you do have options. Oh, yeah, travel. I was saying earlier, I was getting the, the vibe of travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. So traveling is very significant to some of you this year, whether you're going on trips, vacations, whether you just have a lot planned, um, or if you work, um, travel for work, but something significant with travel here. Books is at the bottom of the deck. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books, so maybe some of you are writers, authors, or you just enjoy reading. I'm getting for some of you, maybe, maybe you're traveling because of a book, maybe you wrote a book and you have to, um, to travel. Maybe like book signings or something. Um, if not, maybe some of you are just studying, you're researching about interests or school. The books um, make me think of school as well, education. Some of you could be traveling for education. But you guys are very, very focused on cultivating prosperity throughout the year. So you guys are very focused on what it is that you're growing. You're very attentive to what it is that you're trying to achieve. 
Because I do feel like some of you guys planted some sort of um, seed a while ago. You guys definitely started something. And I feel like you're still working on it. And I will link uh, the decks that I used down below. Okay, so let's see, two cards came out. <clears throat> so uh, your first message, it says here, Dear you, do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone or you might have no value. Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done, be healed, be completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to, man to manipulate an outcome, but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different, set that boundary, delegate responsibility to another, ask for your needs to be met, and when faced with an impossible situation or sticky and mess relationship, repeat this mantra, I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it, then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. This one says, Dearest you, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you are willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective, and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it you need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true, so moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting, as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and a richer existence overall. All of us over here want you to be all you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? So yeah, I definitely feel like this travel is going to open up a lot of new experiences, opportunities for you as well. Yeah, and you're you're being asked to to also um be generous this year as well. Um maybe try and you know, donate some time or um just try and, and do your best to um just spread positivity. Try and and lift others up when they're down if you can. Um I'm also feeling like some of you guys might also give a lot of yourself or a lot of your time to traveling um, or to, to different um, options, like, like, like different si uh, situations in your life, like work, school, um, job, whatever um, it is that, that, that you're trying to grow here with this card at the bottom of the deck, your creative pursuits. So I do feel like you do give a lot of, of your time to different um, hobbies, responsibilities. Some of you might want to fly free into um, a new creative artistic path. And you could be standing really strong in that decision. Yeah, but spirits, <coughs> excuse me, spirits wanting you to know that you don't have to do everything and fix everything all on your own. So also, you know, if other people are wanting to share themselves, their time, their advice, their help with you, um, let them as well. That's what I'm getting. I'll read the message that's at the bottom of the deck as well. So this says, Dear you, the simple yet powerful 
Law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? How we adore you. What else? Okay, so Leo, you guys also have meditation brings answers, opportunity, and you're ready. So I feel like um, there's an opportunity that's going to come in for you guys and you are going to be ready for it when it comes in. Um, some of you have been waiting for a certain opportunity for a while. Could be this, um, could be a travel opportunity, an artistic, creative opportunity, um, some sort of opportunity here. Um, maybe one that, that brings you some sort of freedom. Um, but definitely meditate. Make sure you make meditation a priority throughout the year. Um, but definitely um, try and meditate on this opportunity that's coming towards you because I do feel like your angels um, want to speak to you about about this opportunity. I feel like this opportunity is also going to bring in um, a lot of options, a lot of different choices. So you might also have to get silent um, and meditate on these options. Maybe this is one big opportunity that's going to bring out multiple, you know, questions. It's going to have you weighing a lot. Um, or these could be, you know, multiple opportunities coming in for some. Um, but when you guys do make the decision, you are going to stick by it here. And maybe that's why books is here and why I was feeling like someone's researching, could be researching as well. So, yeah, you guys... You guys are ready for something better. It says there's something better at the bottom of the deck. So, so you are ready for something better, better opportunities. Someone could be coming in with an opportunity and, and saying to you that there's something better. And this is, this is that, that's something better. This opportunity is going to help you cultivate the prosperity that you want. Yeah, renewing your life. You guys are ready to start fresh, start new. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I really hope it resonated with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed filming it. So, thank you so much for watching. Um... And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.